How's it going, bros? My name is PewDiePie. I've got a new one for you today. A showcase that will make Sheldon Cooper proud. Done by the Howard Wolowitz School of Engineering. I'm talking about, of course, an emotion recognition system. That's right. We're going to attempt to let the computer recognize human emotions. So let's get into it. I'm going to run the script right now and you're going to see my face pop up again in a new window. So what we have here is a live feed from my computer's webcam. The quality is terrible and I do apologize. But um, I have uh, five emotions that my system can recognize. Happy, surprise, sad, anger and neutral. And I will attempt to let it do just that. So we're going to start with happy. Next would be surprise. And then sad. And then anger. And last but not least, neutral. So how I created this system is actually quite simple. I use traditional machine learning methods by first detecting a face and cropping it from the video frame. And this is done using OpenCV's pre-built Har Cascade classifiers for face detection. Then the crop face will go through a Fisher face classifier in order to learn its features. And OpenCV actually provides this pre-built um, Fisher face classifier function for us to use. Now there are actually deep learning methods possible for the extraction of features and building of classifier. And I urge anyone who is interested to read up on those. But for today, I'm just using the non deep learning methods. And the data sets used for training the Fisher face based model that I have used are three publicly available ones, namely the CK plus data set, the Japanese female facial expression data set, and the Imparface 3D. Note that these data sets are actually closed source but you can obtain permission to use them from their original creators. Now one of the challenge in this is that the three data sets combined only gives you about 200 images for each emotion label and that is generally not a sufficiently good amount for training a robust model but the reality of the emotion recognition field is that there are not many a good quality publicly available data sets. There is actually one more, the uh, FER 2013 data set, but I did not choose to use this as even though it contains over 35,000 data, it is notorious for being of poor quality with many missing or mislabeled data. But anyways, so what this means for our system is that it's not good in handling variations in a person expressing an emotion. For example, when expressing anger, if you were to greet and show your teeth in a frown, the system may not necessarily classify this as anger. This is because if you look inside the images available for anger in our data set, you would notice that most of the images show the subject doing a closed mouth frown with furrowed eyebrows. Since the system was only trained to recognize said features for anger, showing one's teeth may throw off the uh, recognition ability. Yeah, but there you have it. So this is a simple but working emotion recognition model. If you are considering improving the system's robustness, consider sourcing for more training data images or look into using powerful deep learning techniques. I hope this video has helped you out. If you want to learn more, I've written a Medium article that gives a high level tutorial on creating this project as well. So check that out, link in the description below. If you have any further questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment. Um, 
And that's it for me today. I uh, hope to see you in the next one.